All right, so we all live in a day and age where we definitely love our streaming services, right? We like our Netflix, our Hulu, our Amazon Prime, our HBO, all that kind of stuff. But in order to enjoy all that content, we usually need some kind of streaming box or stick or something like that to play that kind of content, right? So, you know, you have a multitude of different ones from like the Amazon Fire Stick, you have like Apple TV, uh, you have what Google's, Google probably has it, uh, the Chromecast, I've actually tried that one before too. Um, there's a multitude of them out there and you know, how do you even choose which one you want? I mean, it's usually a difference of like what you mostly watch and that's kind of what you buy. But there is something that I have just received that might actually, it goes against what all those things are and it kind of is a little bit different and it has a whole lot more to offer than I've seen from the regular streaming sticks you'd buy at like Best Buy or Walmart or something like that. So a company called Vankyo has sent me over their new Matrix box. It is the Matrix box X95 Max and this is their new 4K streaming box for your TV running Android's new Android 9.0 uh, OS and it uses the Google Play Store to let you download all the content you could ever want and this thing has a ton of features that I think you guys are gonna be really excited about. I know I am, I can't wait to try it. I'm gonna do it with you guys right here. So let's go ahead and roll the intro and we will get right into what this thing features. Let's go. Before we get into the unboxing, let's go ahead and go over a couple tech specs that this thing has. So this thing first is already rocking a quad core CPU. This thing has a Cortex A53 quad core running at 1.7 gigahertz. It also has a built-in GPU that is a five core Mali G31 running at 750 megahertz. And then for memory, this thing actually has four gigs of memory, which in a streaming box, four gigs of memory, like that's basically like what phones or I mean, I guess phones have more now, but that's basically what phones have now. So you can definitely run games on it. That's for sure. Now those technical specifications out the way, let's go ahead and go over to my table over here and begin the unboxing. So once you get the box open, you'll be greeted with the actual unit itself. So we're gonna go ahead and pull that out real quick and set it off to the side for now. And we're gonna check out the stuff that you get with the matrix box. So underneath it, you can open it up like that. And the first thing you'll find is uh, your HDMI cord right there. Also included is a remote, uh, just your basic remote, no voice command functions here. And then also included in the box is your DC charging plug uh, that has the charging brick and the cord that goes right to the back of the matrix box. And then along with those items, you get the actual matrix box user manual. And it's pretty simple, just kind of shows you how to initially set everything up and you'll be on your way. And now taking off the protective plastic that the matrix box does come in, you can actually see what it looks like. It's very small, thin, and it's really looking portable. It's got some USBs on one side with also a micro SD port. And then on another side, it has an LED screen or an LCD screen probably uh, that actually displays the time and uh, the Wi-Fi signal. And then if you flip it around to the back, you can see that it has an AV plug for audio, an optical audio port, a full-size ethernet port, which is very cool, they included that, your HDMI port, and your DC plug. And speaking of that DC power plug, the only thing we have left to do is to just go ahead and connect our HDMI cable, connect it to our monitor, and then plug in that DC power cable and let it power on. All right, once your Wi-Fi password is in, go ahead and select connect now. And it should go ahead and connect to your access point, hopefully. And just keep in mind that you can also connect through ethernet as well. You don't have to use Wi-Fi because it does have a LAN port on it. Uh, really awesome feature that they do include, but uh, in my case, I'm going to be going ahead and using the Wi-Fi connection. All right, so right here, it looks like there's actually like an interface option. So it actually shows you really quick what the interface all does. So that's really cool. And it does look like there is, oh, there's, there's a voice search, uh, Google Play Store, looks like a clock, status, everything. Very cool, you can change around stuff if you would like. So this is a really awesome feature. Okay, and once you click complete, you are greeted with this really awesome looking interface. I'm actually really impressed with this. 
Uh, you can pretty much select a multitude of different things. So we're gonna go ahead and play around with a couple of things that I might end up actually using and uh, see what you can actually do here. So first thing, let's go to YouTube and find my channel. It's like it boots up. And I did sign into my Google account already, so it should come right up and it did. Look at that, finds all my stuff. So uh, here's some stuff that I was watching. Let's go ahead and uh, let's just go to my, yeah, let's go to my recent videos. Let's go see and uh, actually, yeah, let's go to my videos here and we'll uh, watch my newest videos. Check this out. Should be in 4K and everything. So let me go ahead and skip the ad. So this should be playing in 4K and everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and say it already. It looks really good. Uh, quality looks awesome. Let's see if I can get this to go away. Yeah, so very clear. Uh, looks, because I did shoot this in 4K. So um, like I do all my videos. So this does look very good. Playing through this, uh, this box here. And so far I don't see anything wrong with it. So let's go ahead and keep playing it for a bit. So as you guys can see right here, a little bit of monitor reception there with a bunch of monitors going on, looking through a, uh, looking at a monitor through a camera, but everything is in 4K. So as far as I can see right here, everything's very clear and I'm very impressed with the actual picture quality. Okay, let's go ahead and launch Netflix. How about that? Okay, so there is one thing that they do tell you right away on their uh, listing of it on Amazon is when you have Netflix on here, do not update it. Just select, select cancel. Because if you update it, they will not be able, you will not be able to play Netflix on this anymore. You have to delete it and re-download it from their website. This is because these TV boxes uh, have a like a rooted OS and Netflix for you know copyright reasons does not allow that. So if you do update it, from what they have on this box right now, they will it, Netflix will not work. So just hit cancel and let Netflix start. So really I would say probably the number one downfall of this entire system is Netflix uh, and the fact that it just honestly doesn't really work very well. And uh, that's kind of apparent in all of the um, different TV boxes you can get on Amazon or just like the third party ones, I guess you could call them because Netflix has a lot of proprietary stuff and a lot of things that require all of this, like checking um, through the system, it kind of makes it so it's kind of not usable. Uh, and they also did tell me that you cannot play videos in 4K through Netflix. Uh, it only plays at 540p. Pretty much anything on Netflix only plays at that resolution. So. Really, if you're going to just use this for Netflix, you may not want to get it. So I guess another feature I wanted to show you guys is you can actually use this kind of just as a browser. So uh, you got Chrome right here. I uh, just go ahead and click that like like so, and then it takes you to a Google browser. And you know, you can search for whatever and uh, just go on your favorite site, something like that, doesn't matter. Uh, but stuff like this, I highly suggest getting yourself a wireless keyboard, uh, maybe even a mouse, because uh, honestly using this thing for uh, all of this kind of typing and stuff gets very annoying. So I'd highly suggest getting a keyboard for pretty much everything actually. And there also are a couple of installed apps to play your own files. So uh, there's a file browser, gallery for your own pictures and like a media center and a movie player. So if you have your own library of videos, photos and stuff like that, obviously you can go ahead and connect to any of the, it's like a USB connection or you can go ahead and throw a little micro SD into the micro SD slot and play your media that way. Another feature you guys can also use is you can actually cast things from your phone to this device on your TV. Uh, there's a couple different apps on here to do it, but one is the, it's already installed as the cast play. Uh, looks like you just need to scan this QR code right here and then you can actually download the app and it should work kind of like Google Cast or uh, a Google AirPlay or something like that. I believe both of those actually work on this device as well. And pretty much anything you have on your phone, you can go ahead and cast to your TV through this device. So the Google Play Store does come already installed in this thing. So I'm actually kind of curious if we go there, 
Let's see if we can download maybe a game or something and actually play a game on here. So this thing just installed and honestly, that installed really fast. I will give this machine that, uh, it installed very quickly. So let's go ahead and open it up and see if we can actually play this game. So another app that's very popular on here that comes pre-installed is the App Store for Android TV, which you can get yourself videos, watch live videos, watch music, or listen to music, sorry, and then download other apps. So like, uh, didn't have Hulu on there originally, so you can go here and download Hulu if you'd like to, YouTube, all that kind of stuff, and then uh, use it to watch stuff on your device. And it looks like this store has games as well, and there's games specifically for playing with the remote, it looks like. So let me see if we can do one right here that uh, I might actually be able to play. Let me see if this is free. Is it free? It is. There you go. Cubis. Okay. Okay, well you guys get the idea. So you can use that store, you can play games on there too. <laughs> Pretty fun actually. And it actually worked really well with the remote on that one. Okay, and one of the main reasons people buy stuff uh, or players like this for their TV is to use apps like this. So where is it at? So if you guys don't know what Kodi is, it's usually a rooted type version uh, that you put on a TV box like this in which you can actually stream uh, a bunch of other a bunch of content that is not actually paid for, it's for free. Uh, so one of the main reasons people do this is so you can actually stream stuff like this for free or you can uh, download movies and all sorts of stuff like that for free. And uh, you can do that with like an Amazon Fire Stick, you can root it and do it, stuff like that. But if you don't have that know-how, uh, you can get something like this and it comes already pre-installed. So you can watch live TV with it, you can watch movies, sports, stuff like that. So. Uh, it's pretty cool if you go like to some, something like this, you can actually see there's a bunch of different TV stations and uh, you can pretty much pick whatever you want to watch and it's a bunch of uh, random stuff, um, but you can actually find like new movies and stuff like that in these usually and uh, again, it's one of the main reasons people would buy a box like this, it's because they want to actually stream stuff for free. All right, so if you guys are looking for a TV box, they can play some of your movies. If you guys have a huge video library already, uh, you need something to play it to your TV. Uh, this could be a very, very cool little device for you. If you guys are already like plugged into the Android uh, universe um, and their you know, whole plethora of things, then this is gonna be really awesome for you guys. Uh, unfortunately, it has a little hiccups like with Netflix. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't work very well, but it can play 4K content as you guys saw on YouTube. Uh, very well, um, I might add, it actually looks really, really good. And uh, if you guys wanna you know, play games, do a little bit of extra f functionality like with Kodi being able to stream uh, movies, live TV, stuff like that for free. Uh, this could be a little little thing for you guys. Um, and if you guys can look past a couple little shortcomings, then this could be really, really cool for you guys. So let me know what you guys think of it in the comments below. I always love hearing from you guys. If you guys enjoy this kind of content, make sure you give this video a like, and then make sure you guys get subscribed to my channel. Turn the notifications on so you guys can be notified when I come out with a video next. And I will see you guys in my next video. Later.